This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, chapter 12, sort of verse 10, and it reads, Never trust thine enemy, for like his iron rust of so is his wickedness. Verse 11, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, Least when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Verse 13. So will, it's like it. Verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and all glory to God, William. By Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha, with a stroke of thumb. I want to say double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom on to the Akim and the Akwa, thought they listen and learning, Lord, willingly, this is edifying. Shalom on to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but describing to this truth to you. I say Shalom on. Brother Yahweh Sop out of GMS Cleveland Church and fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem. Salaki, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And basically, this video is I made a statement in my last videos of various topics because through the spirit, I was going in on a particular subject, but then got to talking about a multitude of things. So when I do that, I tend to switch it to various topics. And um, I made a statement about America and a situation they did a couple years ago in regards to they were calling themselves being allied to a country that they were, I would say occupying, but they were in, <laughs> they don't say they were in, you know, being democratic. So, so anyhow, um. And I misspoke because I think I said the state, the country was Iran, Iran, Iran. I know I didn't say Iran. I think I said Iraq. And um, I said I was going to go uh, pretty much because I don't like to, you know, this ain't just uh, something we doing. This is the Heavenly Father's business. You know what I mean? So, you know, when we bring out information, it has to be correct and on point. And sometimes brothers go off here and there. But, you know, I know for a fact I do as well as other brothers that I've know when they realize they went off on something they go back and retract it and correct it you know what i mean so anyhow i said i was gonna make a brief video about mm -hmm. the Af actually what country it was and you know i couldn't think of how what year it was or anything but i knew it was recent and it, this is it it says first on cnn u.s left behind seven billion of military equipment in afghanistan after 2021 withdrawal so the point would, I mean, you know, made the point about how, you know, because when that happened, you had a lot of military and a lot of people was upset because they had befriended certain um, citizens there that helped America get into the position and, I guess, topple, you know, the so-called terrorists or however they got put in a position, you know what I mean? Like, America ain't just doing nothing like they use democracy as a, a smoke screen you know what i mean they come with aid and and humanitarianism in order to steal your fucking resources you know what i mean this motherfucker is a pirate you know what i mean this, you know what i mean and the devil at that devilish ass pirate but um so um and i was saying how again i remember watching certain i think it was on cnn you had certain military that was speaking out about it they like because abruptly they just had to leave and they left like certain person they, they didn't leave personnel they left certain well you see they left equipment but they left like people that had been I, I i guess you would call them government informants like they had been working with the u.s government to topple the afghanistan government and you know the people that was, that was i think they were saying al-qaeda i guess has power there now so i was I, I said iraq but in actuality it was afghanistan it says in 2012 u.s president 
Barack Obama declared Afghanistan a major non-NATO ally. So although they weren't part of NATO, they were allies to America. But it says, however, Joe Biden revoked his designation in 2022 after the Taliban took control of Kabul. Now, I thought it was Al-Qaeda, but it was the, the Taliban, which a lot of them be, like I said again, you know, they be funded by, you know, <laughs> be government you know using you know ties with these other countries to smuggle drugs in to fund wars and shit like these motherfuckers ain't shit but um that's what the point of, well, i brought out about never trust by an enemy you know what i mean like at the end of the day you 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 can't trust this devil you know what i mean like he'll deal with you in order you know he, he reminds me of lord of the rings you know what i mean like if you've ever seen that movie like basically he gifted a ring to all the different nations, the heads of all the nations. But then he had a secret ring that was a ring to control all the ring. <laughs> That's Esau. <laughs> the fucking devil. He he would have put a system in place. We all equal, but I'm I, I'm not in the category. Y'all all is gonna be on equal level, but I'm above all that. And you see that shit. You know what I mean? You know, any fool that believes America is a, a land of um I wouldn't say a land of opportunity. I, I, I believe it's opportunity. That's why you got so many people that break their neck to get here. But it's not as much opportunity as it once was. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, so all those people, the migrants that came up here, you know, but to think that, you know, things are equal or it's equality here, you a fucking fool. Jake's gets shown that every motherfucking day. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, chapter 13. And the point is verse 6. I um, started three. The rich man hath done wrong, and yet he threatened, threatened enough withal. The poor is wrong, that he must entreat also. Verse four. If thou be for his profit, he will use thee. But if thou have nothing, he will forsake thee. You know, and I was just speaking on how America is considered the land of opportunity. You know, man come here, rich, um, wealth, um, poor, and become rich. You know, they was just talking about that guy. Um, that fought Tyson Fury. I cannot pronounce his name. Francis Nugawa, Nugawa, something like that. I don't want to butcher his name out of disrespect. You know, that's you know. So anyhow, but the that 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 and he Jake. You know he, you know they might try to say he a Hamite because he was up in that land, but we know Jake is scattered in all the land. But he Jake. You know a lot of people thought he's gonna get his ass whooped off Tyson Fury. I kind of figured he wasn't. He actually, for what a lot of people say, they say he won for real. They just didn't want to, you know, shit on Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, it's funny. Remember, the brother said that he thought he was going to get his ass whooped, too. I, I didn't think he was going to get his ass whooped, you know. But, you know, that's boxing, you know what I mean? You could call 100 fights right. That's why it's the sweet science. One slip, one when you're supposed to bob, and you, instead of weaving, and you you get, you know what I mean? That was the science to it, you know what I mean? You can prepare and you can't, you know what I mean? But anyhow, it's so lucky for the digression. Um, it says, verse five, if thou have anything, he will live with thee. Yea, he will make thee bear and will not be sorry for it. You know, they came over there. They was over there in that land. Best believe they, you know, and it's funny because they was over there. It was cool while Trump was in. As soon as Biden got it, that's what it was too. Now that I think about it, because I knew it was either Trump or Biden's, um, administration. But as soon as Biden got in there, that's when they did the shit. You know, when you take the time to think about Biden's administration, he's done a lot of shit. So that's the so-called white man. You know what I mean? Like literally, you know, you know, like I say again, he thought they they thought they was allies. They befriended them. You know, while all this opium has been being pushed in America <laughs> the whole time they was there, you know, what I mean? they must have got their quota, huh? Anyhow, uh, so. I ain't meaning to make this long. I'm about to probably end it, but I got one final scripture. The scriptures talk about curse be the man and trust of a man. The book of um, Jeremiah chapter 17, point is verse five, and it reads, 
Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, cursed be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. For he, for he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see Um, back in Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 6, for he shall be like the heath in the desert and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabit it. Verse 7, the point, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and whose hope the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai is. So, you know, again, you had these nations trusting in this devil and that's one of the reasons why all these nations gonna you know turn on this whore you know what i mean because this bitch you know is in bed with all these other countries trying to you know it's a statement about how women are the biggest opportunists so they gonna jump on you know like it talks about that in the um apocrypha about how a woman um is, uh, basically open her her quiver to airy airy arrow <laughs> you know what i mean Seeing which one could do what for her, you know, some sayings about how women to have not sayings, but you hear people or individuals speak on how women have a guy to do this, that, that, this, 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 that, that, you know what I mean? But then a man looked at like he ain't shit. That's that's not frowned upon in this society like that. I remember at one point it was though. That's how old I am, you know. <laughs> like, but that's a good thing, you know what I mean? You know. I, to a degree, feel sorry for the younger generation because, like I say, this is all y'all have known. So, you know, I used to get upset at how certain younger brothers move, but then when you take time to really think about it, you know, that's me going off because, you know what I mean, like, yeah, we all fucked up from being raised in Babylon. It says, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, and whose hope the Lord is. So all these different nations, like I said again, that's why they're going to shoot missiles on this bitch because this place has made, you know, contracts and covenants and deals and then, you know what I mean, where it basically benefits them first and foremost, you know what I mean? And these nations getting tired of that shit, you know what I mean? You know, America, a big bully, but, you know, at the same time, you ain't that big no more, you know what I mean? Not when there's enough of them, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What they, what, what they say on Friday, he say, let's jump him. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to bring that out. So lucky for, you know, the rambling. But um, with that, I'm going to end the lesson. Just to, you know, correct the statement I made. I want to give all praise, honor, and all glory to call Lord. I'm like, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, by Shem. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa, thought they're listening and learning. Um, to you, I say shalom. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa, thought they're listening and learning. Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. And the land of other nations appearing like the other nations was subscribing to the truth to you. I say shalom. Till next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom. Wathla babal, shalom.